I'm Jarrett from Believe in the Run. And I'm Thomas from The Run Believes in Me. And today we're going to be talking about wide feet yeah. and the perils of it. Wide shoes. This is what we do here now. And I'm with the expert. Self-proclaimed wide foot Jarrett here. Um, so wide foot Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking wide foot shoes. Uh, we're going to be going over some of our favorite shoes. And what did we just discover before this? I just learned there's two different types of wide feet. There's 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 multiple types of wide oh, feet. Oh, okay. So, so we have two different yeah. midfoot and what And you toes. have a wider toe box. Toe box. Yeah. Um I was just out here complaining about wide shoes and wide feet and ranting all the time and not knowing what I'm talking about, but I know I'm angry about something yeah. and that's what we're doing here today. <laughs> that's the thing. We're so, just here trying to make a scene. <laughs> so let's get into it. Would you like to go over your favorite oh, wide shoes? Let's yes, let's I brought some props. When I ran the, the Chicago Marathon, I, I was in Ultra Torin, the sixes. This smells. <laughs> Sorry if you got a whiff of that. Damn. That was actually offensive. The natural toe box, I like because I feel like my toes have to space out or else everything hurts. Mm -hmm. And these were my my first zero drop shoes. Ooh. And everyone was like, oh, if you get, wear zero drop shoes, you're better, you know, strengthen your calves because everything's going to go to SHIT. Do you curse on here? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> and, and, but I didn't find that to be the case. I run really forward on my feet. The other one that I like, I can't remember if I ran a marathon in these, but these are the Saucony Triumphs. Wide, of course. Yeah. I know, yeah. if you're looking for a wider toe box, you're probably looking for Ultra or even Topo. So, first one, it makes sense that you were able to run the marathon in it. In a hypothetical world, if Nike thought about us, Jarrett. I know. Nike. And they actually made wide shoes, the Nike Invincibles would be my other favorite. It's been it's been quite a minute since I've run in a pair of Nikes. I mean, I like, but I like how it, my foot lands in them and everything else. But I can only do short runs because he went through with a foot like that, not me. <laughs> God, I'm sick of it. You're running in Ultra, you're running in Saucony, you're attempting to run in Nike. If you're looking to branch out a little bit, there are some other brands that are throwing in some wide shoes into the game. The most wide foot friendly brand out there is New Balance, I know. You've heard it from me before, I swear, not sponsored. Shout out New Balance. <laughs> I've been running in the Super Comp Trainers and they are phenomenal. The first carbon plated wide shoes that I've ever had. Oh, so if I want to take six seconds off my time. Yeah, maybe even seven. Here's the deal. <laughs> Next, we'll switch it up. We'll go to another brand, uh, one that I have struggled in the past with. I just recently got a pair and I actually, shockingly, I enjoy it a lot. The Hoka Mach 5. Oh, I know. Okay, when I try, I don't know what Hoka I tried before, but the wide was not wide, so I'm intrigued. So I've had uh, problems where Hoka, the sizing has definitely been off on the wide shoes. I've gotten blisters in the midfoot. I've gotten blisters oh, in the forefoot. Yeah. Uh, but the Hoka Mach Five, maybe they finally they're finding their. They started following you on social media. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> it's a fun light shoe. It's a daily trainer that. If you don't want, you know, that race day carbon plate, mm -hmm. uh, harsh on your feet shoe, it's really nice. It's it's nimble and it's quick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. That's what they say in the running world. Jack runs in the Hoka Mach 5. I'm gonna go back to Saucony. I'm going a little couple months back to the Ride 15. And okay. that is a fun daily trainer that's smooth, a little firm, but it has just this really nice roll through the forefoot. I was picking up the pace. I was enjoying it without even realizing it. So when a shoe just kind of disappears off your foot like that. <sighs> Must be nice. It's, it's nice. <laughs> I'm going to try it and see if it has the same magic on me. Mm -hmm. And see if I just am enjoying it magically. For someone looking for a really wide shoe, we're going back to New Balance with the Fresh Foam More 4. Okay, okay? M-O-R-E? M, more, yes, more. Oh. It's, it's the, the most. Okay. <laughs> it's got that huge, massive cushion of Fresh Foam, mm -hmm. super comfy, 
It kind of does look like I've got little tugboats on my feet, but the sidewalls keep my feet in place and it's just enough space that, I mean, it's one of the most comfortable shoes that I've worn. I'm excited to try these and I'm going to see if your midfoot wide problem translate, if your solutions translate to my wide toe box problem. Yeah, and the colorways look pretty nice. Oh. <laughs> not just blue, gray, black, and white, you know? Cause We've got some other things in there too. It's not just grandpas that have wide feet. Uh-uh. That should be the, your catchphrase. Wide shoes, it's not just grandpa that wears these. <laughs> Nike, get it together! Yeah, maybe 2024. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Wait, I'm Thomas. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm gonna get in before. And if you didn't realize, this is not Thomas from Believe in the Run, oh. imposter. So can you tell them who you really are? My name's Erin Azar, AKA Mrs. Space Cadet, expert struggle runner. And we just recorded a podcast that was very fun. We did. And if you haven't checked her out, I don't do a lot of TikTok, so I follow her on Instagram, but there's two different handles though. I'm Mrs. Space Cadet on Instagram and Mrs. Dot Space Cadet. No, Mrs. Dot Space Dot Cadet on TikTok. Okay, so if you're a TikToker, go there because that's your favorite we'll do place, right? Dances. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you may have seen this is the person I did the dance with. The interpretive if dance. If you didn't know why I was doing that, it's because I was influenced by Aaron here. And check it out. We are going to have a podcast together. And I just wanted to jump on camera because I'm a big fan. So I'm thanks a big for, fan of Thomas, and that's why I out. wanted to be like him. Yeah. So um, and that's it. So we'll check out later. Sorry. Do you want to come back in, Jared? No. It's all right. Um, <laughs> we got it. Go. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Thomas. So say the name again. New the Balance. New Balance. Soup, soup, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. Super Comp Trainer. The Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer. You're just adding words I'm, to it. I'm telling time. you, we went through this. It's taken quite some time. <laughs>